What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming, and today, guys, I'm bringing you another Save Wizards tutorial on how to re-region a game save. So, a lot of you have been asking me for some time, how do I re-region a game save? And I meant to make this video about two months ago showing you guys how to re-region a game save using Save Wizard. But unfortunately, due to school and work and midterms and final, I never got around to making a video for you guys. But today I have a break. I'm not at work. Spring semester didn't start up yet. And I want to show you guys how to re region a game save using Save Wizard only. Now, please keep in mind you need to use the advanced mode to do this. So if the advanced mode is available, then you can re region that save using Save Wizard. Also, please keep in mind that re-region only works on game saves that have cheats that are compatible with Save Wizard. So if you get a game save and there's no cheats for that on Save Wizard, then you can't re-region a game save. There is a second way to re-region a game save, which is a little longer and uses Save Wizard, but I'll make that video in a couple of weeks showing you how to do it the long way rather than the short way. So let's open up Save Wizard and I'm going to show you now how to re-region a game save using Save Wizard only. Just hit OK. And for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use Near Automat. So for right now, I have the US version of the game save, which is pretty much a clean cut save. All I did was turn on the PlayStation, go to normal, and hit save, and that's it. Exit the game. I didn't even play it for 30 seconds. There's nothing on here. Then I have the Euro version of the game right here, which has four saves in one, which one of the saves has max money or weapons or the chapters on lock and so on and so on and so on. So first things first, I want to import this saving and reassign it to one of my accounts. So I'm going to go to resign. I'm going to hit import. Right, let me scroll down. Open. And keep in mind that this save has four saves in one. If you wanted to re-region this game save, each save you would have to reassign to one of your accounts and extract the game data and test what the save has on each one. So for me, I tested all of them and I definitely know that the very bottom one right here has max money or weapons or stages or all chapters unlocked and so on. So I want to just use this save only. So I'm going to reassign it first. So hit import. Hit OK. I'm going to change it to my dummy account. Hit apply. And just let the save wizard resign the save to that account. And it will only take like a second. It doesn't even take long. But I will say that this method works about 95 to 100% of the time. So just let it finish. Hit OK. And when you go back to cheats, as you guys can see, that the Euro version was just reassigned to my dummy account. Hit the drop down, right click on this. You see the advanced mode? This is what you need. So hit advanced mode. And that's going to open. And we're going to extract the game save data from the Euro version of the save. So just give it a second. It's going to open. And as you guys can see right here, over here, you got import file, you got export file. So there's one problem when you get to advanced mode, which I actually emailed Save Wizard, and they told me how to fix it. You see the apply button? It's shaded gray. This is a glitch in the program. It's not supposed to be shaded gray. It's supposed to be active, just like the close one. I could click on it, but I can't. So what they told me to do is just go to one of the values, which I normally just do the second one, and hit the same thing in, and this button will, be, will become active. So I'm going to hit a 4, and that's it. 
And you see the button became active. I cannot click on the apply button. So right now I hit the four and then I'm gonna go to export to file. And it's gonna ask you the game data. It's gonna ask me where. So I'm gonna click on my desktop and I'm going to save it. And as you guys can see, the game data has now been extracted to my desktop. And this is for the Euro version of the game. And I'm going to hit, I can hit apply or I can hit close. But right now, I'm just gonna hit apply, hit yes. It's only going to take a second for this. The reason why I could have hit close, but the reason why uh, I hit apply is just to show you guys that the modification button is active and it works. You, If you want to, you could just hit close and everything is good once you extract the game data right here. But I just hit apply because I already clicked in the value of the field to make sure everything is good. Now, at this stage of the game, I have the game data from the Euro, which is only for the last save. It's not for the rest of the saves. Now I'm going to go back, right? Go to resign, and I want to import my US version of the save. Oops, sorry. Hit open, double click, and as you guys can see, I just do the save file one. Hit import, hit OK. I'm going to go to my dummy account and hit apply. And it's going to reassign my save, my US version of the save, to my dummy account. Give me, and it's almost done. I could have done this before, but. You guys see. So now I have two versions of the game save. So I'm going to go back to Sheets. Make sure that's active. Now, as you guys can see, I have the Euro version here. And I have the US version here. So what I want to do is get the game data of the Euro version and import it to my US version of the game save. So I'm gonna go here, highlight it, right click, go back to advanced mode. Just give it a second to open. Shouldn't take long. There you go. Now I'm gonna do everything that I did before I'm going to click on the four. All right. The apply button becomes active. Now, the only difference, instead of export, I'm going to import the game data file, which is the Euro version of the game, inside my US version of the game save. All right. There it goes at the bottom, right here. Hit open, and because the apply button is active, I'm gonna hit apply. And do you wanna press proceed? Hit yes. And right now it's taking the game data of the Euro and re-signing or re-region, if you wanna call it that, to my US version of the game save. There you go, modification successfully applied, hit okay. Now, the game was just re-regioned. So when I go here, right, when I go and copy this game save back on to the PlayStation 4 for my dummy account, all I gotta do, copy it to the PlayStation, start up the game, and then hit load, and you should see that the game data of the Euro version has taken effect on the US version of the save, 
And that's it. That's all you have to do to re-region a game save using the save wizard. So just to recap, very simple, very easy, very quick. All you got to do is have the Euro version of the game save, right? You need to reassign it to whatever account you want to play that save on. Then you want to go to your cheats once it's reassigned. And then click down. Give me one second. Whoops. Click down on it. And use the advanced mode, right, on the Euro version of the save. There you go. And extract the game data for that save, right? Then you should get the file on your desktop. Then you're going to go and get the U.S. version of your game save. Going to reassign it. Then once you reassign it, you go back to cheats. You go back to advanced mode. And then from there, you're going to import the game data that you extracted, which is the Euro version of the save. Then you're going to go to one of the values in the hex edit. Make sure you click on the same value. So if it's a 5, you click the 5. If it's a 4, you click a 4. Then the apply button will become active. Hit apply. And then it will modify the game save with the Euro game data to the U.S. And then basically you just copy the game data from your USB back to your PlayStation and test it out and we see if it works. And that's it. It's not that hard. It didn't take me more than two, three minutes to do. And if it works, you can still go and apply the cheats from Save Wizard to um, have max money, max life, whatever you want to do. And everything should be good. So that's pretty much it, guys, to re-region a game save using Save Wizard. It doesn't take that long. It's really not that hard. I just figured that I'll show you guys how to do it because there's... There is no instructions on Save Wizard on how to do this. So if you're waiting for the tab that says re-region right here, you're going to be waiting a long time because I don't think that's going to happen. And if it happens, it's coming probably months down the road. But while you wait, you could just do it yourself. So that's pretty much it for this video. I thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to email me on my YouTube channel, and I'll try to respond to it as quickly as possible. I thank you guys for supporting my channel. And as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Thank you for watching my channel. And one more thing. I will be bringing the long version on how to be region and game safe, like I said, in a week or two, which you still need save wizard. But it's a little bit longer, but it's a 100% guarantee that you could re-region any game save to your account. So just be patient. Let me make the video, and it'll drop. And as always, peace.